Hey friend, Graham here from RecordingRevolution.com and today let's talk about how to record your acoustic guitar and your vocals at the same time with one microphone. So you might be more familiar with what's called overdubbing where you record one instrument or one track at a time. So you might record your acoustic to your click track or guide track or just to the song in your head and then you might sing on top of that separately after the fact. That gives you the most control afterwards for editing and mixing of course and maybe helps you concentrate a bit more on one instrument at a time guitar than vocals but what you might sacrifice is vibe and performance so let's face it you're probably used to playing and singing the song at the same time whether you play live in a bar a coffee shop or at church or just in your bedroom that's probably what you're used to and if you're recording singer songwriters other artists that's probably what they're used to so they're going to be more comfortable if they can sing and play at the same time and then you might give them more vibey gritty more powerful performance because you're just playing and singing the song so there are a lot of benefits to that so what we want to do is be able to capture that performance and that vibe that's great from playing and singing at the same time but we want it to sound great in the recording of course so i'm going to show you how to do that today first let's talk about what equipment i'm using today and what gear you will need to pull this off i'm starting with the microphone i'm using a rode nt1a this is a classic large diaphragm condenser style microphone. You can get these new for like $200. I have three or four of these. I, they're just great all around microphones. Uh, and I've reviewed it on the channel here before. But any large diaphragm condenser will get this job done great. I've used Samson CO1s. Those are $80. I've used Behringer B1s. Those are $99. There's just too many to name at such ridiculously low prices. They can all do a great job. I'm also going to be using a Focusrite Scarlett Solo USB audio interface. This is a $99 box that allows you to record your vocals or instruments or guitars straight into your Mac or PC. And I'll be using a free piece of software to record into called Pro Tools First. So you don't even need to buy a piece of software. You can use free software to pull this off. Now to set it up, you're just going to need to get an XLR cable. This is a traditional three-pronged mic cable. Plug one end into the microphone and the other end into your audio interface. Since this is a condenser microphone, we're going to need to switch on what's called phantom power to give it the extra power it needs. So look for a 48 V button, 48 volts button, or phantom power on your interface to get that going. And then just adjust the gain knob and make sure you're getting good signal into your software. Little tip, I like to look at the actual meter in my software while I'm test recording to get my level and I want to shoot for levels that are 50% of the way up the meter to 75% of the way up the meter. Now let's talk about the most important element of pulling this off and that is mic placement, where you put the mic. Now if you put the microphone kind of right in front of your mouth, you can imagine that it's going to pick up more of your voice than your guitar. It's facing me, so it's front facing and I'm using a cardioid microphone today. So if your microphone has multiple polar patterns like Omni, record all the way around or figure eight you can record on both sides um, or cardioid you would want to choose cardioid because that means it's going to basically record what's directly in front of it I don't want to record out here or out here I want to record what's happening here so this is cardioid facing me at my mouth level about six inches away let's see what that sounds like take me on a crazy ride Give me more than I can handle I want to see a wilder side Give me more than I can handle Now if we adjust it Drop it down Now it's again six inches away But it's facing my guitar Less of my voice It's probably going to pick up more guitar Now the secret is to split the difference. We're going to do that both in height and distance. So 
one problem has been that we've been having the microphone too close either too close to my face or too close to the guitar and since microphones are like flashlights like whatever you point them at that's what it's going to hear like a flashlight whatever you point at that's what it's going to shine its light on these guys are going to hear primarily what is directly in front of them so the closest thing to to it is going to be picked up the most so if we can simply split the difference instead of it picking up my guitar it's going to pick up my guitar which is down here it's going to pick up my voice which is up here and then instead of having it six inches away I'm just going to back up a little bit to closer to a foot away this is it makes a huge difference because now we've got a beautiful circle here of what the microphone's picking up up here it was only getting some of the strummingness of the guitar and it was mostly voice not very balanced down here it got too much woofiness of the guitar and my voice sounded really far away if we put it a little bit further back and a little bit higher up so again it's looking at sort of my top chest level one thing to keep in mind is is how hard you're going to be strumming and how loud you're going to be singing and that depends on the song so that will give you a nuance to where you place this mic for example if i had a very delicate finger picking song i might be able to get away with the microphone being slightly closer to the guitar especially if i'm singing at a decent level above it this song is very strummy so the guitar is going to be plenty loud and the beginning of the vocal is a little quieter in terms of the the lower octave so the voice is a little harder to pick up so i'm going to have it if it's in the middle it's going to be slightly up from the middle so it's a little bit closer to my face than the guitar again pointed right at the top of mr stormtrooper here and we've backed it up instead of being six inches away we're a solid foot maybe foot and a half away so let's record a little bit into my DAW and see what this balance sounds like take me on a crazy ride and give me more than I can handle I want to see a wilder side There you go, a more balanced representation of the guitar and voice together in a room. Now it's not completely perfect. There's a couple of things we can do to it to make it a little bit better. I'll show you that in a later video when we mix this track real quickly. And also I'm gonna show you in a future video how you can record your acoustic and vocal performance at the same time with two microphones, not just one. So look for that. Now before you go, I wanna give you something that's really gonna help you take these recordings to the next level. What we're doing here, the recording aspect, is a very important part. That's why I named my site The Recording Revolution. But it's only one step of six to getting a great song idea from here to something you can release to the world that sounds what I call radio ready. Something that sounds good enough sonically that it could be on the radio. And I've put together a free guide for you that will tremendously help you. And it's my free gift to you. You can get it right now. Just go to radioreadyguide.com and get your download. What this document's gonna walk you through is these six critical steps that every song goes through. Songs I make, yes, but songs that are on the radio, for sure. It goes way, way back before the song is even recorded and way beyond what happens after you record to get it to sound its absolute best. So it's gonna walk you through the steps. Also, it's going to give you tactics, tricks, 
techniques and best practices that will really help you get more out of your recordings while you're working in the home studio. So if you're making music, you need this guide. It's gonna help you out tremendously. It's a lot of fun, it's an easy read, and it's something you can hang on to and open up anytime you're making music. So go download your copy. It's right there at Radio Ready Guide. Com. Stay tuned for the next couple of videos as we dive into more ways to record your acoustic guitar and voice at the same time and how to mix those performances in your DAW. See you soon.